Right lads, welcome to On The Bench LFC. So yeah, another day geezers. Um, more news coming out today. Obviously it's the international break in it. So Liverpool um, aren't going to be playing for a couple of weeks. And the next game's against the scum, Man United. So yeah, um, there's some news on Lukaku. Because obviously Lukaku had a bit of an ankle injury. And you was probably the same as me. That was like, cool, yeah, like, please miss out on the Liverpool game. Um, but it seems that he'll probably be back for the game against us, but he's going to miss his international game. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Look, it don't matter whether Man United field a full team or the fully strong team that they've got. I just hope that we destroy them, but I can't see it happening. It's going to be a really tough game, isn't it? But let's face it. But got a couple of other updates as well. Hendo, Ox and Woodburn look set to start for the international teams. Obviously, Hendo and Ox for England. Um, good to see Oxide chamberlain get him some game time if it is true that he will start in this game then I'm happy with that I want to see him play more I want to see how he's he's adapting what his fitness levels are like and things like that so it's something that I'll be keeping an eye on Woodburn looks set to start for Wales because Gareth Bale's out with an injury so yeah so that's good for Woodburn as well it's good experience and yeah he's been doing really well for Wales isn't he so be looking forward to seeing what he can come up with in that game as well always good to see our players play in it um, on that note Ojo uh, he's on loan isn't he guys um, but he's out for eight weeks with a shoulder injury by the sounds of it so there's an injury update there for you guys obviously Klein and Lalana are still on their way back into fitness so I haven't really seen too much more on that, but it seems like it's going okay still. Be, no news has come out saying that there's been a major setback or whatever with that, so that's good. Um, also, there's rumours coming out about Coutinho to Barcelona still. Last couple of days it's been coming out. I try not to jump straight on it because that'd be the easy thing to do to get views on YouTube is, oh, Barcelona reckon they're going to get Coutinho in January again, but like I said before, guys, I don't do it. Obviously, I'll talk about hot topics and that um, for you guys to keep you updated, but... Um, yeah, these rumours won't go away, guys. But seriously, Coutinho's not going to go anywhere in January. He'll still be a Liverpool player. Um, if he is going to go, it'll be next summer, in my opinion. Obviously, there's nothing that says 100% that Coutinho won't be going anywhere. But it's just my views, guys, that I think that's all bullshit. It's just transfer rumours and fucking clickbait and all that shit. Um, Coutinho's come out and said that he's happy to play for Liverpool still. Uh, yeah, obviously, he did say as well that going to a Barcelona would be a dream move and things but you know he's a Liverpool player at the moment guys and to be honest with you I wouldn't read too much into what you're seeing at the moment it's not January yet obviously we're looking at Van Dyke and stuff and saying oh yeah but if you look at the Van Dyke situation for instance He's coming out and talking about a possible move in January. Coutinho come out and said that he's still a Liverpool player and that he's fully committed to Liverpool and Brazilian squad. And the Barcelona thing is done and dusted, basically, because of that transfer window. So we're not hearing Coutinho come out and say anything like that or anyone close to him. It's just rumours, guys. And it's part of what Barcelona always do. They use the media. And, yeah, it's just dirty tactics, isn't it, guys? But I really don't think that there's too much to believe in it, to be honest with you. Um... Another big player, which is uh, Adrian Rabiot. Is it Rabiot or Rabiot? I don't, I don't really know how to say his name properly, but plays for PSG. Absolute quality player. Um, yeah, he come out and spoke about how he wants to play in the Premier League one day and that he used to love Liverpool Football Club. He's got a passion for Liverpool. So that's good news. I think he would literally walk into our team. He's meant to be a really, really good player from what I hear and from what I've seen. So, yeah, I think... He, he may be one that we might look at in the future. Obviously, there's no links with Liverpool apart from that at the moment, but good to hear other bright, um, talented football players talk highly of Liverpool Football Club. Obviously, we all love the team, don't we, guys, and love the club. And when you hear other players come out and say how much they love Liverpool, and it's, especially if they say that they want to play in the Premier League one day, then it's a one-up for Liverpool, surely, if it comes to a race to sign that player in the future. But he's a PSG player, but I just thought I'd let you guys know on that. It's something that I, I was like, oh, that's, that's good to hear, you know what I mean? But, yeah, um, other news as well. Mohamed Salah picks up a double award for Liverpool. He got player of the month again, and he got goal of the month as well. So he's absolutely smashing it, any guys. For those of you that are saying Chelsea flop, Salah shit, all that crap, you know what I mean? Like, there you go. He's picked up player of the month again and goal of the month. The geezer is an absolute legend. He's the Egyptian Lionel Messi, apparently. I wouldn't go as far as saying he's Lionel Messi quality, but Mohamed Salah is a Liverpool player and he's fucking 
fantastic. Yes, he's got to work on a few of his things, guys. Obviously, I'd like to see him use his right foot a bit more. I'd like to see him go to the byline a bit more, just to mix it up in the games. And I think that it would benefit him as well in the long run, because I think that it means that players wouldn't be able to read that he's going on his left foot, which means he'd get more chances on his left foot, doesn't it, guys? So, yeah, but quality from Mohamed Salah. He's had a really good start to his um, career at Liverpool Football Club. And, yeah, what's your guys' views on it? Do you think that Mo Salah is up there competing with Mane and Coutinho to be the best player at Liverpool Football Club. I think Mane still takes best player and then Coutinho in second, but Salah's really pushing them two now as well. And it's good to get another, is it world-class player? Could you say that Salah's a world-class player? I don't like to say too many people are world-class because in my opinion, your Messi's, Ronaldo's are that world-class. Luis Suarez, world-class. Steven Gerrard, world-class. Mohamed Salah's a really good player, isn't he? And um, yeah, I think with Salah, Coutinho and Mane, there's three quality players. Um, speaking of the other one out of the top four there for Liverpool, um, looks like Firmino's going to be offered a new contract extension. Hopefully he signs it. Obviously we're well aware that he's a quality player and he's had a dip in form recently, but I think he's just overplayed. If you look at his play style, he literally gives it his all on the pitch. Burns his fucking ass off, doesn't he? Trying to run around and be a madman for us and I think he just needs a bit of a break, guys, really, which obviously last game he got a bit of a break, didn't he? But I'd like to see him rested a bit more and rotated a bit more. I want to see him put in midfield, guys. A couple of the lads on the um, channel and the subscribers have been talking that Coutinho should go out to the left, Mane up top, Salah on the right with Firmino, playing behind the striker, which would be Mane in that instance. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see that happen. I think Firmino needs to go back into the midfield for me. He's not that out-and-out -out goal scorer. He's brilliant at linking up play, but... You can see that Liverpool look quite one-dimensional sometimes if a team sits back against us. And I think we need to put a big out-and-out -out striker, someone with a bit of height as well. I'd go with Dominic Solanke up top. Ings is linked with Leeds Football Club. And obviously, Origi is on loan. And then, if you look at Daniel Sturridge, obviously, Daniel Sturridge, I think his time's up at Liverpool, guys. I think next year, he's gone, to be honest with you. He's not Matt Sharp anymore. He's not getting enough game time. Whether he started every game, he's just he's not putting a chance in at the moment. We're not being clinical enough in front of goal, so I think start Dominic Slanky up top with Firmino behind him, or Mane up top for me. Mane's an absolute fucking legend. He's a goal scorer, he's a poacher, finishes with both feet, he's got the skill, he's got the pace, he's got everything, can he? And I've seen that he can even put it in with his head. He's not the biggest player, but he scored that wonder goal with his head, didn't he? Across the box um, from the corner last year, and it was a fucking blinder. So, yeah, what's your guys' views on it? Would you play Mane up top? Would you play Slanky instead of Sturridge if it it comes to that would you like to see Firmino in midfield let me know in the comment section down below leave a thumbs up on the video if you're an absolute legend which I know you are so just put that thumbs up guys it don't cost anything does it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already take care guys I'm out look after yourselves